Okay, I haven't been on in a while. Today's August 22nd. My kids um, just ate a bunch of Oreos. Yes, it's my fault. Um, so, if you hear a bunch of yelling, banging, um, my walls are not soundproof. Yeah, see, they're very, very noisy. This is the second time I've tried making a video, and I've been interrupted. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, it's been a bad week for me. Um, I, I'd appreciate prayers, please. But only, you know, it doesn't have to be anything big. I'm going through a lot. Um, so I just wanted to, um, I'm going to be making probably three or four videos after this one. Um, I am no longer going to be putting a bunch of information into one video. Um, especially if it pertains into a Bible study, I guess, um, People need everything broke down. So, I'm going to tell you of a dream that I had. And uh, after all this, I am going to be doing another video. Um, I dreamt that I was in a, a vehicle, a car or truck of some sort. And I broke down on the way to the wedding that I was invited to. For some reason, I called my brother-in-law, Travis, to help me. When he got me, when he got to me, he fixed my tire and gave me $20. He started loading the car up and I said I need to call Jeremy, which was my husband, and make sure it was okay with the price. He, which is Travis, said, no, don't worry about it. He'll be fine. Jeremy gets on the phone and says, heck no. I said $30. So, excuse me. So Travis gets mad and unloads it and leaves. So, it switches scenes to where I was in a huge room, all cherry-colored, with nothing but clothes and dresses, but none was white. My sisters were in there, Sarah and Lisa. i just seen her briefly. I tried on tons of dresses, even ones that didn't fit me, and I had on a blue one with white big flowers. Took it, took it off. Sorry, another interruption. And, um... So, anyways, I was I had on a blue uh, dress with white big flowers, and I took it off, and I said, I have nothing to wear. So, I put on a red dress with big white flowers, and that's when Sarah said, it's casual, come as you are. You don't have to wear a dress. She put out jeans and a gray sweatshirt, and I felt the chill of the air, and I woke up. Okay. Um, I believe part of this was a dream. That pertain to me but this is also a powerful message um, that this is going to pertain to someone that's watching this today um, <clears throat> Travis means crossroads and toll collector um, with all the stuff that's going on right now we're definitely in a crossroad it's, it's spiritual attacks it's extremely hard to stay on task okay um, and we have a toll collector, you know, someone who's collecting money. Um, and this would lead into a Bible study that I've done. But I'm not going to actually do a Bible study on this word. Um, it's a toll collector. Um, which, you know, the Antichrist is coming on. And he's getting ready to take his toll. He's getting ready to collect souls. Um those who were at the crossroad and didn't choose Jesus. Okay. The number 20 means exaltation and exuberant joy. And this represents the people who were pleased in their ways. Okay. Not in God's ways, but their ways. Right. <clears throat> Sarah means high rank or princess. 30 is a vessel. He is the father who is knowing the true intentions of the heart. Okay, and then 2030, all right, which is what I was, I don't know, this, I woke up and I got agenda 2030, I don't know, and it says, the agenda is a commitment to eradicate poverty and achieve sustainable development by 2030. It's a landmark achievement providing for a shared global vision towards sustainable development for all. 193 states of the United, or yeah, st member states of the U United Nations include 17 sustainable development goals. It's universal goal to 
peace in a larger freedom, which was September 25th, 2015. Okay, and what this pertains to is people, planet, prosperity, preamble, peace, and partnership. And if you count all those, okay, there are six P's and there's six um, of six, six words, which is an antichrist system, the beast system. There's a lot more to this, but I'm not going to get into it. Okay. And then this, this also goes into another study, but that date, September 25th, 2015. Okay. Was five years ago. Well, on September 25th, 2019, Four years later, we had the Noahide laws on the Mount of Olives with the 70 nations, okay? And <clears throat> then I had to ask my husband, which represents God, that all is pleasing in his eyes. Go to the Father for your answers. He has the upper hand. The ones who want to take advantage of us are the ones that are close to us, especially family. In these last days, family against family, and I have learned that so much this past week. Okay, in the last days in Matthew 24, it says family against family. When you don't do what they want, as they think they can get away with anything, like Travis. Okay, he said $20. My husband said 30 Okay, God always wins. Okay, and that is when the enemy backs off. Okay, because um, me, I was able to call my husband and get confirmation that no, this isn't what he wanted because I went with the spirit by being a messenger of the Lord, asking God for his guidance. Okay. And, um, the, 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 the blue dress and the white flowers is of royalty, but I ended up wearing a red dress and you know, that represents bloodshed, um, and purity. Um, like, like the, like what, what we see is coming. I was, I, I shed off my sins. It's, it's a sins and offering. Okay. And we have the Feast of Tabernacles coming up and Sukkot, Rosh Hashanah, all that. So, um, <clears throat> I was invited into the wedding, which is an open invitation. And why were none of the dresses white, right? Because Jesus says, come as you are. Okay. Casual. Like it will happen on a regular day. All right. Our dresses are already prepared and ready for us. White and made pure. Okay. Nothing, no blemishes can enter heaven. That's why it's white dresses. That's why in our dreams, we've had white getting married. But instead, this was an invitation. Okay. So now we need to come to Christ just as you are. Okay. And this is a more... Um, very important situation um, with what's going on. Um, many people think that they need um, to work for salvation and it's not of works, okay? Um, that's going to get you to heaven. So God has everything made for us. And because we are, are human and we are sinners, um, our dresses cannot be made white here, okay? Though our sins are cleansed from Christ when we become one with him, when we become born again, um, you know, in heaven, that's where we're going to be is here. Um, so that, having said that, um, this is an open invitation, and I truly believe this is the last call before we are called home um so get right with god because he is coming back anytime any day and i have um more um videos i'm going to be making and there's a ton of information if i don't get to it tonight i will most definitely get to it tomorrow um so bear with me god bless